That's right, it's Dark Sun. It's a D&D campaign world set in a post-apocalyptic era where global warming came true and leather became really popular. Like a really, really popular fetish. Sessions are like if my man George Martin was your DM, ran a dystopian He-Man, and got paid pennies per character death, yet still ended up a millionaire by the end of the first game. The writing's good, you just ain't living long enough to see any of it. I mean, that speaks volumes, right? A sandbox game where everything leads to a party wipe? I love it! Who doesn't want to remake characters with every choice? So what's with the name Dark Sun? I mean, it's got a sun. Well, two suns actually. And neither seem particularly dark, unless bright yellow is close to black. I guess they could have called it Too Many Suns, but that'd be kind of stupid, right? Wait a minute. Who is this homeless looking Skeletor in the picture? Is that a space helmet? Why does this robe look like it's made out of a Walmart bath towel? Am I supposed to be scared of this guy? Am I supposed to be afraid of any of these guys? These fanfic sex sloths from the Goonies? What is this? Dark Sun was a great purchase. Scrape up 50 weeks of allowance and you got all this. And it came with a banging map. Now that speaks quality. Look at that name. Lake Pit. Lake Pit. Lake Pit. It really made me want to explore the world. I mean, just set right out into the deserts. The rocky deserts, the squiggly line deserts, the dodged deserts, and this giant stain of off-white that covers half the map. It's a desert world, so everyone is hot all the time. Ooh. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Hey! I mean, what happened? Was the BDMS club gone Mad Max? Why is everyone so angry? That's a good intro to the game, right? See this face? This is your face after every session. It's the perfect expression for playing an entire adventure hook and getting clay coins as your reward. That's right, you get paid in dirt. Forget gold, fuck you, this is all you get. Dark Zone was a nightmare, fueled by the fear of the apocalypse and hatred for fun. But it was a great setting if you were bored of the standard D&D races. Just check out all these new races, like the Praying Mantis, a big guy, a ball guy, a short ball guy, and elves. Though they aren't like your Tolkien elves, because these elves are angrier. Just like Tolkien elves. But the story is cool. The world is ruled by magic users who call themselves Defilers, coincidentally having the same name as that edgy preteen gang that hung out in the basements of abandoned buildings doing witchcraft. I couldn't get enough of this setting. The world had everything. Cannibal halflings, bowel emptying Lovecrafting monsters, and sexy leather outfits. I mean, I still remember the description of my first character. A sweaty, muscled man with no hair wearing strips of leather. Sounds pretty sexy. And my friends? Well, they wore even less. Was there a story in Dark Sun? I don't know. I died all the time. Every single time from thirst dehydration having no water lacking something to drink and spontaneous cyanic combustion from having no water the possibilities were endless it came with some pre-made adventures with bugs and stuff but i never got to see it i was too busy looking for an oasis and dying looking for an oasis would I recommend Dark Sun? Absolutely. If you're going to roleplay a character straight out of a dominatrix setting, your session should be filled with elements of pain and questionable erotic art. I still cry about it in the shower. Oh, and did I mention you start with stone weapons? That's some shit.